In this video, I'm going to tell you guys what you need and what you need to pay attention to in Wizard 101. Let's get started. What's popping guys, this is your boy Ultimate Speaker, and today I'm doing like a tips and tricks kind of video. Give y'all some advice on what you need in Wizard 101. I already did like a beginner's guide, but these are things I feel like you need to really pay attention to. You have a good time in Wiz. And if you want to see more guides come out and reviews and giveaways, make sure you subscribe, tap that like button, and tap that notification bell to keep up with all the fresh content. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is mount. A mount is super essential in Wizard 101 and you really need one quick. So, what I suggest you do is that if you can't get crowns or you don't want to spend crowns you are able to find a permanent mount that you keep forever in the crown shop if you just go all the way down to the permanent list under mounts permanent go all the way down here and then click on like the blue dragon for instance and you'll see the gold pop up you'll be able to buy it with gold and you'll be able to have it and it's permanent and it's 40 speed 40 speed is super good this happens for the brooms also have it for the tigers and lions not every mount is able to do that but the ones out here are able to. So make sure y'all pay attention to that and go ahead and grab those. Okay guys, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is your treasure card. Treasure cards are another important thing that you need to pay attention to and that you're gonna need when progressing through. I suggest you having treasure cards, especially if you're low level. Now, since I'm on my fire right now, you can see that I got fire blade on inside the hand or at least my side deck and treasure cards. Now, the reason I got those is just in case I'll pull one, I can withdraw the cards that I don't need and I'll be able to pull a fire blade, which I cast on and do some extra damage. And you can also do that with the elemental blades and elemental traps and all them good stuff too. What you really like, you can find most of them from treasure card vendors or you can find them in the bazaar as well. Speaking of treasure cards and spells, another thing that you'll need is from Crocotopia, which I suggest like when you get there, you will need to get the elemental blaze or spiritual blaze depending on your school. If you're life, death, or myth, go ahead and get the spiritual blaze when you can. But if you're elemental like me, I'm fire, so I got the elemental blade, which comes with fire blade, ice blade, and storm, which is really good to add extra blades on you to do more damage. Also the same thing with the traps. They're sold, or at least you can learn them, from Niles, the balance tree, and Crocotopia. On speaking on the topic of things that you need, another thing is plants. Now, plants are super essential, especially when you get in the higher ranking of the game and start learning more stuff. Pets, which is another big factor. But you can't level up your pet well enough unless you get mega snacks, which most of them come from the plants that you farm and get and garden and all that good stuff. So your first step would be from Wither City. And you level up from there. But learning this early on in the game is super recommended. I recommend learning it early in the game. So you won't have a hard time dealing with it later in life. Just like also with fishing. You can learn fishing now if you want. Fishing not as heavily important right now. But if you want, you can learn fishing. Another serious thing that you need to learn though is crafting. Now crafting is huge in Wizard 101. But crafting isn't seen until like you're getting up there to where you want to craft certain spells that you like or certain gear that you will need for instance 130 if you're just starting the game seem like a far away from now but if you keep playing the game heavily you'll reach 130 eventually and you're going to see some gear that you're going to want and you're going to need to learn crafting to be able to possess it and get it and all that good stuff now the same thing with crafting crafting is first learned in wizard city in old town You'll be given the mission there to learn it and all that good stuff, and then you go higher and higher and higher. My gear, myself, that I got on right now is from crafting. For instance, my boots are from crafting. It gives a little logo. And also, I think that my hat also is from crafting as well. It is. So, make sure you learn crafting. Make sure you learn gardening quick. And fishing if you want. Fishing isn't as huge and essential. Another thing I'm just going to talk about, which is kind of like basic, but it's something that you need to pay attention to if you want to quest on for a long time and don't want to keep, you know, taking stops or get in trouble in the middle of a boss fight. It's having potions. Now, this might seem like a little basic rule that everybody should, like, know a bit. Now, like, even myself, I keep forgetting I don't have potions, which I should bring them on, especially if I want to go on the freaking questing grind. So make sure you always fill up on potions. Use them when you need to. You'll, you'll save yourself time and just keep on questing through the worlds. Now, when I was talking in the video earlier about treasure card that you need another treasure card that i suggest you have like gargantuan this is one i uh think you should get or monstrous if you have a friend that will happily give these to you i suggest that you use them you'll quest to the lower worlds way faster than not using them because you'll kill everybody one shot with your spells when you have these enchanted on them 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Uh, I just wanted to basically talk about stuff that y'all might need if you're new to the game or you've been in the game for a minute, but you still just need to wonder something that you need to pay attention to. This video is for you. And if you want to see more awesome guides and reviews and giveaways, walkthroughs, Power 101 videos too as well, make sure you subscribe, tap that like button, and also tap that notification bell. Also in the description below is my Twitter and Instagram and Discord. I'll be having contests going on in the Discord, so make sure you join them. They're super easy to enter. Also, I go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Appreciate y'all coming through. Appreciate y'all love and support. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. Now, see y'all later. Peace.